What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Dangan Romper. It has been God, how long has it been? Four weeks? A month since we last played this? I was going to record a video of this last week, but um what what happened? I uh I came down with tonsillitis and then I had a chest a chest cold. So in doing that my voice went. Um, I could speak normally fine, you saw in the videos last week, I, I spoke perfectly fine, but I couldn't do the voices, so I pushed Danganronpa Romp out of the way, so I could actually get around to doing it. But we're here now, we're having fun, and we're just going to go until the class trial begins, so we're probably going to be here for like an hour, an hour and a half maybe. So let's hope for the best. Ifumi's body, discovered in the nurse's office. Saka's body, discovered in the equipment. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. For those wondering, um, I don't put accents on for when it's in blue writing, because that's Makoto's thoughts. Everything else I will do my best to replicate the voices. I will do my best. This is harsh reality. The true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day. But still... Why is this happening? Interesting. Right. Uh, we've got a lot of things to explore around here. I don't need the speaker system, I don't think, because that's the monitor. Okay. Another hammer. Now it's just, just a hammer 4, and it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Tarka too? Okay, anything else in here that's information-wise? Start with this over here. A dolly? No, I can't afford to waste time on this. Okay, how about Toko? Toko? Don't tell me. That's not the right voice. Toko too? Hmm. Relax. She just passed out when she just saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We tried everything together to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her alone for now. However, but why is it just this hammer for? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with just this hammer one, and then Ifumi was hit with just this hammer two. But this time, it was just this hammer four. What happened to number three? Ah, what? What's the matter? Well. When you mentioned this hammer three, it just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's being killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? What? Hey! Hifumi's being killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Yeah. Of course, come on! So Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out to the physics lab. But as soon as we were out with the physics lab... Oh! Ah! Celeste? Are you supposed to be winning the nervous office? Okay. Something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Fumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. No, what's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? Okay. If Fumi's body has disappeared. What? what? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening hey. here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I tried to let down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Hifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. They were only gone for like a minute. And then, when we got back... Mm -hmm. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. We're going to die. Just like those guys died. What? What did you I say? don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies is being taken? 
This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean two murders? Yeah. Taka's being killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be. Taka too? It can't be. It can't be. No! Thank you. Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. Then who might be the next target B? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well... You left at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out. And she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Dead. Wait. So you knew she was still up there? You said nothing? Why? <laughs> the annoying little insect clings to me whenever I go. We'd better... We're better off without her. Bastard. You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting! Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't say this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> um, the table's turn. We shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room. A f room at full speed. And when we got there... Toko. Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating? All this or something? No. It's not an hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What, are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously whoever did this has hidden the body. Why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. <laughs> anyway, our custom suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry and catch him before he kills us all of us. Not possible. Well, I don't think you have to worry about that. Think about it. Who could possibly be res responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... Um... Hmm. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Or perhaps you are in love? That's not it at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The, regula <laughs> the regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Shing! I'd mince ya! Mince ya without a second thought! Mince ya! Grind ya! Turn you into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? Hmm. Indeed. Let's see... So since two people have been killed, there is no possibility for any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi. The only one who could have done that is Hiro. But is he really the killer? What about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case... Where did she go? What? Hey Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, oh, it's, it's nothing. Hmm. Whatever, we need to find these bodies. Or a little narr narr narrative here can move forward. So Very well. Then. Then let us split up and begin searching. But... But... <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I, mean... I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Okay, thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Biaki left the equipment room. 
followed by the others. I have tried and find the two missing bodies. I don't know where they are. This is what's good about playing your game for us. I'm about to say second time. This is my third time playing Danganronpa. Technically fourth playing this game. <coughs> Fifth. Because <coughs> I played it on my own when my friend bought it me. I played it with my said friend who bought it for me. Played it on my own to get achievements for the Xbox. Huh? The door must be locked. Interesting. Huh? Where could two dead bodies have disappeared to? Damn. We need to search the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Interesting. Okay, I might be jumping the gun a little bit. Because I know where they are. So I'll go back to the. I guess I'll just look at all rooms again. See, with, see if we can find the bodies or anything. Okay, there's just hammer, just this hammer 2 on the floor. Celeste. Was she really attacked with this? Just hammer 1? But what the heck is with this thing? I think it might be beneficial to try and find where Hero is. I know where he's hiding. That much is easy to tell. I guess we gotta go in all rooms. I don't think of, I don't think I need to though. I'm not one hundred percent. Come on. Why are you just staying there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean? Indeed. I found them. The Fumi and Taka's bodies had been both hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. The bodies are in the repository. But I just checked that door. It's a good thing I know where these rooms are. I know we haven't played it for like at least what? Illness, week break. We played in brand new games. It's been about four weeks, been about a month since we last played Danganronpa. Even I know where all the rooms are because I I, I do enjoy this game. Are the bodies here somewhere? But this door was just locked. Up ahead is the repository. The door not turned. I guess it's unlocked. But I have no choice but to go inside. But it was just locked a minute ago. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Oh, I love Monogumi's voice, it's so nice. And so here we are! It's Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. And it was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right! Just hand it over already. Now, make sure to investigate with all of your mental might and prepare for the class trial! See ya later! Thank you, Monokuma. Hmm. Well then, now that we've found bodies, all that's left to, left to do is uncover the culprit. Hold on! How can you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! Awful! It's just too awful! Hida suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would, who do, would this? do this? Oh, yeah. Why? Sorry. Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this was some word of make-belief, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. But it was. I love the little cutscenes you get on that. This wasn't... He's alive again? Where am I? 
this makes it feel so much more sad. I didn't like Kafumi anyway, but this makes it feel so much more sad. Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? This is me cutting on my head. It is actually coming, you're correct. Hifumi, wake up! That's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything. Everything? Before I met you all. Oh. I met <coughs> you all. His memories are all blending together. Sorry. His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Oh. <coughs> reaching out to me. Sorry if the coughing's interrupting the cutscene. Like the tail of a comet. <coughs> hey, Fumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. eyes closed and they never open again death for the second time absolute undeniable death no matter how many or how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face there was no second miracle reality set in again hm. this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world tears can't restore a person's vitality Honestly. you have no tears do you no blood in your veins no calcium in your bones at least you have your meat Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. Hmm. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hakagora. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other and words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Ifumi, and then going as so far as to hide their bodies? A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers? Is that what Hero is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we crack, track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look like that way. It's going to be good. I have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this. To make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. Mwah. First I better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaki Shimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> this is not the problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well, there is something else that's bothering me. <laughs> Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt. She has an alibi for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma Don't be rude! Here. I'm here to answer your question! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial! Speaking of which, I'd like to ask you fair. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask! And so I shall answer! Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! I still wanted to explore what if someone kills two people. Like, I mean like, person A kills person B, and person C kills person D. Like, two killers, two murders. I wonder how that gets thrown out. Would, you, would it be like, you have to throw, like, there's no rule to you can't do that. Because technically, the two people can be each other's alibi. 
and you can kill up to four people. Right? So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. But it, would it be the same case like two murders per case? Like, hey, you two work in to kill each other, you kill two people, you kill anyone else. Like, Monokuma would have to intervene. If he overhears him, like, let's kill, kill someone else, like, he'll pop up and say, I know what you've done, I've seen you do it. If you kill any one more person between the two of you, I will stop and intervene. But then per a third person will probably kill someone at the same time. They'd be like, the fuck's gonna happen here? Like, everyone just gets wiped out in one go. Like, right, who the fuck killed who? That'd be a cool, cool thing. Like, okay, the six of us left. Three people have killed each other. Like, did we all kill each other? The Monaco probably probably supposed that. Like, yeah, you're all dead. <coughs> then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Hmm. In other words. So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then. Sorry, you're saying nobody worked together this time either. Hey. Sorry, um, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in murder. Phew. Only one black can congratulate. An accomplice gets nothing. So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who, who that one black can is that did the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Okay, okay. Let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... The one true blacken who devised the murder, plot, and put it into action. The true blacken? So just one person? Well, now. That's enough for explainifying. Now let's... Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. I have some of the word contestants. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. But I can't see any way that Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. <coughs> you may be right. Um, if that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However, as long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. There's absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um, you know, I don't think we should consider a certain someone a suspect just in case. I'm talking about the murderous fiend genocide Jack. <laughs> what? I'm offended! <coughs> you, when did you? <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master, when I woke up and you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl! Milk sack? Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What the so what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Afumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Afumi's body. Yep. Besides, I'd take every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone who ever knows what I look like. <laughs> They don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing! That's, That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. Another topic, should we impose the guards by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear. And that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi. So figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Sweet! Right. Okay, we've got people to talk to. We've got a Fumi to look at, so we'll go from right to left. Biaka, do you think you really did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Fumi said when he died, yeah, he said hero's so name. Other words, then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. But do you really think there's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in that what? somewhere. Then is that it? Is that all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like... Why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured it that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case... But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. 
Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why they bother killing two people? What? What? Because all the rule says is if you can kill someone get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, you're murdered one... Your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues. More chances you'll find get found out. Hey, hold on. Perhaps... I see. So that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Bye. Thanks to you, I may have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he figured something out. But if he did, why would it have killed him to tell me what he was? Now, anyway, next on the agenda is Mr. Fumi himself. Fumi's big, cold body is like <laughs> laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office, where he was discovered, to here they're in the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it? How the hell? It's no good, I don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Fumi himself. If I remember correctly, Fumi's facial injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from just Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. What am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it. His glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now, they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? Who would do that? And why? Interesting. Next on the agenda is that top. <coughs> It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. Kinda awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Tarka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel to the, of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What explanation for that? Okay. Uh, soccer next. Hmm. There are many aspects in the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened, so then. would you like my help? I'm good, I think. I know what happened. I remember it all. Like I said, I've seen this case so many times. Taka, you'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found just Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid under his body. Did the killer use this to move Tarka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind. All the body was moved. There you go. E okay, nothing else there. Okay, let's go for the hammers and talk to him. <coughs> the hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall. Although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the just hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers have been obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? I'm going to actually go for the account of of this. I'm just going to blast through it because I know what's happened. Yeah, let's look back on the things. This morning, only four of us met up for the dining hall. Right, I'm just going to, because we know what happened. I'm going to see if... This gives me a clue because we all know what happened. And it's just a quick, like a quick recap of what's happened since then. Just look back at the last episode. I know it was like a like a month away, but <coughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Basically, just a quick recap of what's happened in part one so far, which is quite nice to say the least, considering it's like you know, there's like this at the beginning of the chapter, and there's like a month, like three months ago. Three months ago, like a month ago. We've got some more things to attend to in the future. Right. And that brings up to now. If you're looking back at things, certainly have been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, okay, so I didn't get any hints from that. Okay, fair enough. 
Alright, let's go talk to Hina. That was a waste of time. Oh, um, um, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Mm. After Fumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. When we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Mm. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. There's only one way in that other room. Though the door that he knew said was locked before, there's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from inside the repository. Which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. Well, the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. <coughs> in other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have been beaten, could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... The repository has been added to the truth. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe we should check somewhere else. There's some place that I already know about. First the nurse's office, where Hifumi was found, then the equipment room, where Taka was found. Well, I guess we could go to Taka's first, because he's on this floor. Then we can just go take it from there, then it's the class trial begins. So I don't think we've got much left to investigate on this behalf. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. That's what I meant when I couldn't... <laughs> Record it last week. <coughs> that was really rendering my voice. Right. Ah, Jackson here. Yeah. Let's go talk to Jackie Girl. What's up, Jack? I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed. I missed such an little bit of event. Alright, thanks. Tarka. I am Tokyo even. This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Oh, I got coins. Lovely stuff. I don't need coins though. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood in its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that could definitely have been possible. Okay, but if the, even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Ifumi? Ifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. How many things we've got left in here? Okay, the hammer... And the hammer! Alright, cool. <coughs> Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Alright. Fair enough. The only thing left to go to now, then, is the nurse off the festival. Off we go. Calm down. There we go. Alright, where is the first floor? Nope, that's going up to the fourth floor. That's for next chapter. Although, that's not until two weeks' time. Maybe, depending on how Slime Rancher goes down. If there's achievements, we're going to be playing the game for a bit until there's nothing else to do. Why is it lagging? I shouldn't be lagging on Xbox. I should be able to run this game smoothly. If the game is lagging on this, then it's definitely the game and not Xbox. Wrong way. Black well, still done. Hang on, can I go in here yet? So I know he's in here somewhere. Do we find him in here? I have no idea. I can't go on the left side, but I've got to go on the blue side. Anything? Dang, this Oka sure is big. Really? I know where he is, though. Oh, that's such a bitch. I know where he be hiding. I know where he be hiding, because I've played this game. I 
haven't mentioned that. It's not hard. <laughs> right, uh, nurse's office. <coughs> I think wrap up inside here, then it tells us where. Where? Um... Hello, Celeste. Right. I'm gonna go from right to left, ignoring the monitor. Go to the fridge. Refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything drink to drink inside. Uh, for everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusion, I guess. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Interesting. Just Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Ifumi. So moved the body, but left the weapon behind. Oh, no blood stain? No blood stain? Alright. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glass cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, that was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? Mm. I have the slightest idea. Yeah, me neither. But I think it might be a poor. Yeah, alright. The last thing to gander upon in here is Celeste herself. What are you investigating? What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply the girl and I was seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Ina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, he said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Ifumi's body in that short amount of time? Mm -hmm. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Ifumi in a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it, I can't think of it as anything as less than impossible. Alright. Okay. Hmm. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? Hmm. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Now that you now that you meant it, meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um you should go to Hero's room. Oh, let me give you this. <coughs> this note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? Hmm. You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear. Though. Anyway, this makes it all clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. So I'm inside to go to the hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? To the hero's room! It's a good thing I know where I'm going! Yo, a chill just went down my fucking spine. What the fuck? I don't know why. Right, where's yours a hero's big ass fucking bushy hair? Queen? Dickhead? Idiot. That's the same as dickhead for me. Uh, Makoto? Bitch. Junko Queen? Weird Jack thing? Queen? Queen? Owie, Sakura, the death, there you are the hero, you're here. The door is unlocked, I guess I can go inside. Bjarke did say to go look, it might not be a great idea, but I'm taking the punch. <coughs> okay. This is hero's room, there's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where did you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means I can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Okay, there's a few things to investigate around here. Really? Not the things on the floor? Really? Not things? Okay. Is that the monitor we're looking at? I think it is, yeah. Right. The door, maybe? Sounds like checking the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Pretty tough, though. How does the bathroom get anything that's dirty? Okay, check these boxes. <coughs> I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints or something, and... Something's made out of 
It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these bloopers. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Robo Justice blueprints have been added to the truth bullet. Okay. Leave the area, sure. Makoto, big news, big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I just think Hero and Kyoko will turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. <coughs> That's where I was going to go to. I jumped the gun a little bit. As I always do. Hello, boys and girls. Kyoko, and... I mean... You, man. You had the worst day. Hero? Let's go talk to Hero. Um, Hero? Huh? <laughs> yeah, hey, duh. Who else would it be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? huh? What? Why do I look like this? Oh, did someone come along and remodeled me when I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? Okay, Kyoko. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool room locker. I looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and he woke up. Don't be me. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been this whole time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check upon. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? Yeah. First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, well, well I'm, I mean I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about the costume. It pains me just look at you. Huh? <coughs> well, um... Let me out of I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? Not at all then to make this stupid freaking thing? There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get here out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew, free at last! Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. It then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone terrible. was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. But tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear the costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. Um, if you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the robot costume. Huh. See? Look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Hmm. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Interesting. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Interesting. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, 
It seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. Costume? In a huff, Hina took the suit back off. <coughs> well, now you all have excuses? Uh, um... No, see? It's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a See, I told you it was impossible. You're absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hiro's body exactly. But then there's another costume. There must have one that looks the same, but but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just who cares? He was the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. Terrible. Which is how we know it, it was him. What? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Okay, but just costume has been answered the truth. Okay, do I talk to here again? What the heck? I mean, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's being killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well... Two people were killed, Taka and Ifumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it! Please. I did not! Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it, I know who did it! So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Ifumi were fighting over Alt Ego, right? Which means Alt right. Ego and Ochihiro must have done it! Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Oh, uh, unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, oh I know that note. Note? Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note on my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. And maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. Uh, Last thing I remember is going to the rec room for... For some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. You could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. What? But what, really? Uh. I told you. Someone's trying to set me up. Secret passage. Chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Uh. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Uh. Well, after being trapped in here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Ah, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Don't be me. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, they show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my uh, pocket. No Looks way. Looks like I lost it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? Okay. <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to wait before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh, no, it's like I said. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be really broke, and that's why... <coughs> Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful you haven't bound and gagged you. Hm. If you have no time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? Now you're right. Need to look for the second suit in that note. Feet don't fail me now. I guess get better... Better get back on guard duty. I was going to ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. On my one, everyone peeled away. Nakoda. Nakoda, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me, me, help me with the investigation. It, it looks like I got a late start into this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? <coughs> Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. 
Is that the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the clash trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Do we have to walk there, Makoto? You know the game. <coughs> I like how it just extends the gameplay a little bit. Unless something is going to happen to set it off where they're not there. I doubt it, because we've, we've all been together apart from the little break and things. Okay. They're both here. Ifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to get rigid, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her moves were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Towards her, Kyoko? I see. Kodo, I found something. You did? Hey. Remember the wristwatch Taka always wore in his left hand? He did? Ooh. Are you so obvious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broke sometime after just after 6? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey you, how long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he started pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night... It couldn't have been broken at 6pm. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Okay. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right. There's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? <coughs> Me? Because... Rigor Mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. This little scrap of paper doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Joker then turned to Yafumi's body. So then. Let's check Yafumi's body now. Perhaps he left us a clue of his home. Kyoko's Kyotaka's scrap of paper. Okay. Fumi's The biggest problem I have right now is how is the oh, never mind. 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 I know all this. Kyoko, and he talked to you again. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A water paper? That's right. Ifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he hidden it on purpose, you see. In his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants. More like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey. Anyway, let's t take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like, it's better be important. You fool me or I'll never forgive you for this. <coughs> a note? I found a hole. Maybe we can use it used to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6am. So... That sounds very familiar. That's it. That's the same thing Hiro said. That he was telling us the truth. However, although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note on my door, and here's what it said: "I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape." Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. The time is different. Hero told us that his note said, "Meet him at 1 a.m." But the note they wrote to Fumi asked him to meet at 6am. Right? Hold on. 
Just because he threw me out the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it is being torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped. Um, could you maybe examine it a little bit more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would you have been... Why would you have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then... What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper, what he was holding in? What if it was something more important? How would some, something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what we need to answer. I don't know if you mean Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have time to think about the handbooks this time? Is that right? If you didn't have time to, if you have to think about them at all, what I've got on my way to mention it. All I said was they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. How it may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko is important, if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Okay. Ah. The time has come. Only an hour. Wow. I thought we were going to play for another half an hour. But apparently not. Are you excited? We do it for Are like... Save by save. It's time for the class trial to begin! Maybe. Like the bright burst of fireworks. Like, like the, the flash of soul clashing with, with life and death. And so, with Without no further, further ado, ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Do I have to go down there? I know I have to like to do some more shit first. door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See, See you soon! soon. Yeah, we're going to play to the safe point. Seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to forget, figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. <coughs> yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Okay. There it is. The right door on the first floor. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! Hello! 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 He's multiplied? Wrong. Nope! Not mu multiplication! It just looks like that way because it's an illusion! I'm moving so fast and it looks like I've multiplied! Hehehe! <laughs> you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? Let me just get into the video already. Boy. You're not playing along? Along! Along! Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, hey. Then, if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay, then, shall we? <laughs> please. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already. I didn't do it. For serious. Mm. That only reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume or the note? Uh, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate, then. It would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> <laughs> There's another place to talk about it. Save your accusations when we get into the clock courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it. I can't let whatever killed Defumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. One who killed Ifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is someone right here. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard. The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up into a cruel fate. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realise just how few of you there are left. 
Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just so Only because of you. Uh, why? Why are you making us do such cool things to each other? What, what? What, what? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute! Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah. Don't rush me! Or of course I'm gonna start it. I will never be like, stay tuned for the action pack class trial after this commercial break. Yippee! I never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. <coughs> and so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Is that one of the best lines to say? Yeah, dude, I'll save. Uh, pre-trial. Pre no, yes, I do want to reflect. Oh yeah. Anyway then, I am going to leave that there for today with this video of Danganronpa. The next chapter has been wrapped up. I'm building me chapter three, just section two of chapter three, because how we play the game, if you don't know by now, we go daily life, investigation, class trial. That's how we're gonna go. So next time in episode whatever the next episode is <coughs> we will wrap up this case this trial should take just roughly about two hours and then we can roll into the fourth chapter where things start getting turned for the worse which is good now because by the time this video comes out all three danganronpa games well all the main case ones are on the xbox which is good because that means I can get achievements. Even if they're not available on Xbox no more, don't worry, I've still got a PS4 version. I've still got the PC version. I may even buy it again because I want the achievements on the games anyway, which is great. But as for now, though, that is all there is going to be for today. And as always, this is Rick's Light signing out. So let's cue.